Hello, hello everyone and welcome back. So, I'm actually just kind of recording on my own here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. But, uh, there's something I've been working on. It's actually been quite a while since the last recording. Uh, I would like to record more with Chaotic, but, uh, just kind of waiting for him to get some stuff sorted out or something. I haven't really asked him what he's doing. So we did play a bit off camera. I did some mining and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Did I make this pickaxe on camera? I don't know. I know I talked about it. But I'm finally ready to go up a tier and go supercharged and got some rubies for that. So I know I mentioned recently that uh, I... I ported Vasky's mod, uh, Lemmy, or however you pronounce it, Lightweight Mod Indicator to 1.8. Uh, sent a tweet to Vasky, never got any response back on that. So I thought, well, since Wayla in 1.8 is kind of broken, uh, I'll just kind of expand on the ideal and make my own little miniature lightweight version of Wayla. And so I've done that, and uh, actually I have made a video about this, although I have worked on it. A little bit more since then so you can see it's actually got a little background behind the text now and it also you'll see on some of these it says TE that stands for tile entity so basically anything that has TE after the name is a tile entity and you can hold shift to get more information about what you're looking at and why do these machines have meta value of 2 I guess that's their facing Alright, we can see like all these pipes are tile entities and so on. Even the jukeboxes. Oh yeah, it's an inventory. That's right. Uh, this still doesn't work with beds and doors. Okay. That's something I will look into. For now though, let me see where... I guess it would be in here, the Chaos Ore. So I added a Crusher recipe for the Chaos Ore. And pretty much it's going to work just like the Sag Mill. You'll get two and then you have a 10% chance of getting an extra. And let me see. Uh, I think they'll get put straight into the furnace if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's another Crusher up here. Huh. Okay, I guess he was just too in too lazy to make energy pipes. Uh, although the pipes from Neotech are actually quite expensive, so I can understand wanting to save some. We just don't really have anything here, do we? Any fuel? We got a little bit of wood. I thought he was uh, making charcoal over here, but maybe it all got used? I don't know. Either way, I'll just make some more. Got the beginnings of a tree farm, but I don't think it's completely working. I don't know, it could be since there was some wood in that chest. Oh, hi Enderman. How are you? I really should try to kill this guy. Okay, come here you. Oh, uh, this uh, new mod, which uh, I don't know if I talked about it, but I'm calling it Wit. What is that? And, of course, he just fell through the floor. But yeah, as you can see, it works with entities now, and I have no idea where that guy is. He probably just gave up on me. Yeah, I seem to recall the mobs falling through floors happening in 1.8 the last time I messed around with it as well. Okay, so where is... oh, it's just all kind of bouncing around in the pipes, huh? Well, some of it is. I got enough to make the pickaxe at the very least. So I guess that's a good start. It's not a lot too Neotech at the moment, I think, but it's a pretty good start, I suppose. I mean, there aren't really any other tech mods for 1.8. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a supercharged tool. Okay, 
There we go. Pickaxe. Better pickaxe. Much needed. Uh, really with the achievements? <laughs> it's a little bit weird sometimes because I didn't craft a crafting table myself for a long time. These I guess I'll put here. And I would kind of like to do a little bit of mining. Since we don't have a lot of resources. Oh, I should enchant it first. Uh, do we have... I don't suppose we have any blaze powder, do we? Probably not. I don't think there's any way to make it either. Well, if we had the cinder pearls, we could, but... I don't think there's a desert near here. I have ender, no alternative recipe. Okay, let me take a quick look outside here. Huh, good enough, I just need the mini-map. Uh, that area is not part of this world, that's from a previous world generated on this IP. I haven't actually looked around that much, but yeah, no desert. I'll probably just take a chance with regular enchanting. So let's see, we do need lapis now. We have a little bit. Okay, so we're guaranteed to get Unbreaking 3 and who knows what else we could get. Uh, I think it's worth a risk. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. I'll take it. I can upgrade it. And here's the problem with enchanted tools and silenced gems. That is not intended. <laughs> that is definitely not intended. Oh, that glow is just insane. Uh, let me see. Do we have any more? Yeah, we got a lot of tool upgrade bases. Just need to find some black dye and I can get rid of the glow. May have to go kill a squid or find an onyx glow rose. I do kind of wonder why the signs don't show up with wit. I, I kind of thought that they were tile entities. But, I don't know. There are certain blocks that... I'm not quite sure how it works yet, I'm still figuring it out. It seems like they don't have... Oh, did I get like three from one? I got four from one! I got a four, four chick egg! That is amazing. That's like the second time I've seen that. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, there are certain blocks that don't work with wit, like lit redstone. I know any eye's uh, ability to put a little HUD at the top of the screen like this also doesn't work with lit redstone. And for a long time, it would just crash your game. And I believe Chicken Bone said he had no intention of fixing it. Why am I going this way in particular? I don't know. What I need is a squid or an onyx glow rose. Just something to get me black dye. Kinda looks like there was a fire over here. Okay, we got the flickering trees again. I hope that's fixed in 1.8.8. I haven't really messed with it. I have set up a development environment, <laughs> but uh, I. I haven't really done much with it. Still just kind of hanging back because uh, I don't really want to maintain three different versions of a mod at once, but I should probably go ahead and update anyway. I mean, it's not like I have anything better to do. Speed boost, please. Thank you. The quest for black dye to get rid of the buggy enchanted glow. I still don't know why it does this exactly. I mean, I'm not applying the enchanted glow to multiple layers. I, I've, I learned that mistake in 1.7, unless the way they do it changed in 1.8. Uh, you never know. I kind of wonder if the invisible tools still happen. Or, I mean, I haven't really tested it that thoroughly. I've been scratching my head over that problem for a while now. I'm kind of tempted to just say it's not worth fixing at this one point because I don't know if it's like a 
1.8 or 1.8 specific thing. Oh, seriously? Really? Uh, that, that, that was stupid of me. Shouldn't have done that. It'll be okay. But I got black dye. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this tool. There we go. No more enchanted glow. There's Endermen, but yeah, I don't want to mess with them right now. Not in the middle of the open. I ended up pretty far away. Oh, witch. And we're good. Oh, and I forgot when you enchant things, it doesn't use up all your XP anymore. Now, really quickly though, is there... Yeah, there's a chest plate here I could use to repair the current chainmail one I've got. Is that even worth it? Uh, I don't know. Let's just see how much it would cost. Six levels? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see if the other way is cheaper. Now that's more expensive. I'll never understand that. If the result is the same, why why is it different? Alright, I don't want to do too much of the dungeon here. You know, it's kind of after we were done recording with that last session that we really started to look through any eye and realize how little stuff there is to do. So, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, I threw in everything that looks interesting, and yet there's still significantly fewer mods in this pack than there would be in any normal 1.7 pack. Alright. Let me see, I'm kind of... Is I guess the webs are part of this dungeon level. Or part of the dungeon. I want to try to avoid the dungeon. I'm mostly looking out for gems and stuff like that. Okay, Ruby. Sink, you are most likely useless. So nice to have a really fast pickaxe, though. And aluminum, you are slightly useful. I will take you. Oh, more chaos ore. Sure, why not? Silver, you are probably useless. I kind of wonder when or if we'll get thermal expansion for 1.8. I know it came out really late for uh, 1.7. It wasn't until 1.7.10, I'm pretty sure. I think it was. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> oh, more of the dungeon. Ooh, is that an, that's an Enderman room. Oh, perfect. It's probably like no uses for Ender Pearls. Well, I know there are some. A little bit too much of this ravine intersects with the, uh, ruins. Ruins dungeon. Trying to play and talk at the same time and it doesn't work. Oh. Well that's a creeper spawner. Okay. Don't want to mess with you guys right now, thank you. These guys are tough. I want cave, but the dungeon's in the way. Ha. Ah. Wow, there's actually a lot of good loot down here. Oh, hello. really hard to deactivate these. 
Ooh. Free Thaumonomicon as well. Ah! <laughs> I threw my sword! That's not helpful. Okay, I should probably try to get out of here. Got two diamonds, four emeralds just from chest. Nice. I am kind of curious what I could use emeralds for. Let's see. Code breaker from security craft. Universal block modifier, security craft. Shield pet, moon pet, dubstep pet, heart pet, silk touch, looting, storage upgrades, open computer stuff. And of course the emerald tipped upgrade. Oh, more stuff used for blocks. Okay, so there's a few uses of emeralds. So yeah, Wit is probably not going to be anywhere near as good as Wayla. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but actually today, which is December the 13th, they released a new version of Wayla. The first version in nearly a year. And I mean, it's like, seriously? Is it because I started working on this mod? I mean, I know there's no way that most mod authors have even heard of me, so <laughs> that's kind of stupid to assume that. But I mean, I swear, it's like every time I try to do something, something like that happens. Ugh. Well... I don't know. It's good that Wayla's updated. Unfortunately, it seems to crash at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really messed with it too much. I'm guessing it might be just compatibility issues with other mods. Oh, these rings give you a 5% discount? I thought that used to be lower, but maybe not. So, yeah, like I said, this will... This will not be anywhere near as good as Wayla. I mean, it's just intended to be a, a lightweight, lightweight, non-buggy, temporary replacement. Uh, I may just continue to work on it whenever I feel like it. I mean, I mostly just mod for my own enjoyment. Uh, might as well make a better sword. While I'm working on this, yeah. That would be a very nice thing to have. Those guys are taking a lot of hits to kill. Alright. And of course I'll need to go get a few more levels before I can enchant it, but that's okay. Oh, so that's where the gunpowder is supposed to go. I still don't know where the slime balls are supposed to go. Maybe you used all of them. I don't know. I'm gonna stop recording for now. Might just go grind out a little bit more XP to enchant the sword, and then I'll be done for the night. So, as always, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.